What's up everybody, it's Concrete Z with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going to be looking at a new service I'm going to be offering very soon. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and this will be a guided meditation on making your life so much easier at the computer. Now what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes, breathe in deeply and picture a world where when you type in F minor into the search bar of a folder which contains your new augmented sample library only samples in the key of F minor show up. Now I want you to imagine that these samples are all pre-chopped for you at one, two, and four bar intervals. And I want you to imagine that these samples are also labeled with the BPM information so that you can properly match this information to the information of your session. Now I want you to open your eyes and realize that that world is upon you, fam. What I have for you, what we are creating and what we are about one week from beta testing is a new product, a new service rather, where obviously we're not going to take our samples and give them to you because I'm running a legitimate business and I can't take copyrighted music and resell it just because it's been chopped. So don't ever ask me for that. But what we can do is we could take your files, which you own, and we can index them for you, insert the metadata, chop them for you, and send them back to you so that all you have to do is run them into sample one and use them. And I'm going to give you a demonstration. Here I have a this is a this is a I was working I was going to do like an all about the Benjamins flip I, I got the sample the original sample that they use it sounds mad different so don't assassinate me but this is the song that I have right now <laughs> Now, I was thinking for that turnaround, wouldn't it be cool if I had, you know, some type of other dramatic element, but I didn't want it to be VST sounding. Um, I already got a couple VSTs. I got a bass line in it. I got a, I got piano chords. I just wanted something, um, you know, something crazy. So I have, um, I have these, these pre-chop samples, you know, that, I, that we went ahead and put together and the the power the power of this service is is let me let me really explain to you what it is is you would take samples which which you have found you know which you which you've bought obviously you know music that is yours okay from your from your personal library you would send it to studio one tutorials and what what would happen is we would go ahead and we would get the you know the name the album that way when you have to clear said sample you have all that information we would identify the key of the track for you so regardless of your level of musicality that's something that you don't have to worry about anymore and we would go ahead and find the tempo of that so um you know let that sink in you got that okay good now let me show you what it looks like so my my files are in here i'm working in it i'm working in a track that's an f minor so i've already found what did we use we used black mystery so you see i've got i've got a whole bunch of songs and a whole bunch of different keys
And when you go ahead and you go through them, you can hear they're already pre-chopped. So all I have to do is just find one that I like, which I found one already. I insert it into into sample one. I change the root note to F because that's what key the track the the samples in. And now I could uh, all I have to do is play it. pretty dope right so now that i have that i can just play my track and kind of kind of vibe it out Say I want to use it like that, but I want it to be kind of this last half of a bar. And then I'm going to just make a drop on the rest of the instruments. And then say I had a problem with the timing or what or whatever, I could just go ahead and control B it, take it into the audio world. Let's see here. Shorten the region, control B it again. Press seven, take out my pitch band tool. Seven. Create a starting point there. And listen. Yeah, like right there. It's going a little too fast. I want to line this up with this over here. And then you know it's as simple as that to go ahead and to go ahead and put the sample on time. Let's just pull this back a little bit so that it's more quantized. <laughs> And I don't, I, I mean, I, I don't understand if this is hitting you right now, but we just, we just took two different samples from two completely different genres. I'm talking about, I've got a, I've got a, um, a very white disco sample up top. I've got VSTs working. And then I just took this crazy old jazz sample and worked it all in to one track with very little thinking, very little difficulty that both of these samples are going di different BPMs. Um, 
and we went ahead and we went ahead and just pretty much made these samples our bitch. Now, this can this can happen for your sample library. You can have this at the tip of your fingertips, but you have to subscribe to www.studio1tutorials.com. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running a beta on this where we're going to be taking a um I still haven't decided on the number. It depends. It depends on how many subscribers participate in this. But we're going to be taking um, a few, a few of you guys's, you know, personal tracks that you want chopped, um, running them through, running them through the software, and then sending them back to you, and just and just trying to get feedback and seeing, um, you know, seeing, seeing what we can do, what we can do different. Um, what can't be done differently and how we can work around these problems. So I'd really like to work on this beta with you guys. Um, but you got to sign up to the site, www.studio1tutorials.com. Come by and get your premium membership and take part in something that's going to wind up being a game changer for your samples and your sample library and your workflow, because that is what we're dedicated to is streamlining your workflow and taking the thinking out of music production and just putting creativity in it so this is concrete zebra with craft master productions and studio one tutorials.com we will see you on the next one